All right. Hi, I'm Edward, um, and my poster is about anonymous fault-tolerant distributed data mining for smart devices. It's a long title because this is a general purpose distributed system. The target is smart devices such as smart meters, building monitoring systems, and other kinds of embedded devices. These devices have a great potential to improve the efficiency of our power systems, our heating and cooling systems. It can uh, greatly improve our uh, energy efficiency and also our ability to use renewables by doing things like enabling dynamic demand response in the power grid to better match the demand to the supply when the supply varies as it does with renewable energy. The problem that we're addressing with this system is the privacy concern. There's a lot of resistance in uh, communities to adopting things like smart meters because people are concerned that the utility company can monitor and profile them very closely using this smart meter data. This is an example of the kind of data you get from a smart meter and how you can de-aggregate the uh, house power draw into each device turning on and off if you have the kind of fine-grained data that a smart meter provides. So in order to encourage the adoption of smart meters, we need a system for querying them in a privacy preserving manner. Uh, and this is what we've developed. So uh, this is an overview of the system. Basically, it's a way of uh, distributing a query over a collection of devices. Um, and the devices use this overlay peer-to-peer -peer network to shuffle their data around so that every device doesn't contribute its own data, it contributes someone else's data on their behalf. And that device doesn't know whose data it's contributing. So the utility or the building supervisor or whatever gets the result of their query, but they have no way of knowing which device contributed which data. And this gives you a way of hiding in the crowd and preserving your privacy. Um, and we did a detailed simulation showing this has pretty minimal overhead and still gives you accurate results that you can use uh, in a system like the smart grid. Thank you, Edward.